Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS video. This week, we're gonna get Ardin and King Regis on the game. So, are they good? Let's talk about them starting from Ardin. So, Ardin is a breaker and offensive hybrid. So, I can say he is kinda resemble to uh, Adventure Lock. Okay, because yeah. Both of them are Stardust Ray Chainer and both of them also Breakers. But there is something good and bad about Ardin breaking abilities. So the good thing is Ardin able to break all stats by 74%, okay? But the bad news is it starts from 60%. What do I mean by that? So, if you know that Makina, he has decaying buff, but for Ardin, it is the opposite. It is gradual buff. So, Ardin starts with 60% breaks. After that, on the next turn, it will become 65%, and on the next turn, it will become 74% for 3 turns. So, yeah, the good thing is the breaks last for five turns okay very nice but that's kind of gimmick if you ask me and he doesn't have on demand 74 percent breaks so it will be dangerous let's say if you need to dispel the enemy then you will need to start again from 60 percent okay and because sure i know the breaks last for five turns but since the 74 percent are only happen on the last three turns of that duration that mean you still need to cast this break every three turns kind of defeat the purpose right and yes i must say that the good news about him is his offensive power is quite remarkable so based on my calculation on japan version of ardin he can deal about 40 times yeah about 40 45 times damage per cast okay so he is the true dual blood character that means he can deal 90 times damage easily every turn so that thing is really nice okay so based on furcula ffv damage spreadsheet his damage power is about the same level like godria jasper unbound so yes his offensive may be not the next powerhouse, but the flexibility he gives is really good. That's his, that's his good point. Also, if you remember, Adventure Lock is only able to imbue himself with one element water, but for Ardin, he able to imbue himself with dark, wait, wait, dark and fire, if I'm not mistaken. Yes dark and fire and he also able to imperil both elements by 100% uh, so those are a little bit bad about him because adventure log able to break 120% but it's okay only 20% difference okay so I must say Ardin is really good characters and if you have mastermind son I must say Ardin is really good partner for Mastermind Son, okay, because first Mastermind Son I'm able to give 70% all stats break so he can cover Ardin breaks while you still while you still need to wait for 74% breaks, okay. And second, Ardin has that 250% all stats buff and 100% all elemental resist buff for himself. If you have Mastermind Son, he can copy that and reapply that buff to all characters how's that not amazing okay really decent and yes Ardin also have that 150% all stats buff to all allies so yes very nice I must say okay actually about imperil he can imperil dark resist by 120% sorry for my mistake before but for fire only 100% so far I must say he is good character but there is nothing that make you must pull for him what about king regis 
let's take a look on him. So King Regis is a chainer and a buffer. Okay, and yes, I must say it is kind of same like Arden because both of them learns starter three chaining. But unlike Arden, I must say that King Regis offensive power is bad. Okay. Yes, he able to give many stats buff for your party, okay? The normal spammable buffs, uh, 130%, so nothing spectacular but that. Sure, he able to buff 200% all stats, but it only lasts for 3 turns and it is not spammable. So unlike Luna Freya, I must say, if you search for all stats buffer, I think Luna Freya is the winner compared to Regis. Okay, so Regis is also able to give your party barrier. So yes, that's very nice because he has 2,500 health barrier. It is spammable. So yes, nice. I don't say he is bad, okay? But in my opinion, if you need stats buffer, I think you should go to Ignis or Luna Freya. I think those two characters are more superior compared to Regis. Actually, it is all about party composition, okay? But for me, because I have Sacred Shield Charlotte, I have, um, I have Lucas, maybe you also have Galuf, then you probably don't need King Regis because one of his special thing is his limit burst gonna give your party 50% damage mitigation. So yes, you may have tired hearing about that. Because too many ca recent characters have this 50% damage mitigation. But trust me, you need it on today's trial. Okay, because the enemies kind of hit really hard. So you really need to have descent breaks and damage mitigation. So if you still don't have a character on your party that able to give you 50% damage mitigation. so. Regis can become good candidate for that, but I think it's better to pull for yes, Sacred Shield Charlotte or maybe you have pulled Lucas on the pass. Okay, because yes, I don't say King Regis is bad, but I think um, he's not interesting. At least it is only for me, okay? But if you use, let's say, King Regis and Ardin together, you can pull an efficient party because yes you can change starter trade together and you can use finisher let's say you use uh noctis yes noctis is a good example because noctis is a finisher so he need a good efficient party so luna i mean ardin and regis are good partner for noctis okay but for conventional party i don't think you need regis okay so his Trust Master reward is kind of nice, okay? It gives you 40% attack and 20% health. I must say it is nice for any offensive attackers because it is not restricted to any weapon. And on today, you also need the Central Vibability. That 20% health gonna help you so much. And it also gives you 80% defense and spirit buff. Sure, it is easily overwritten, but it will be useful just in case your offensive attacker just got just died and resurrected by authority race okay that will be very useful and for stmr again it is good because it gives you 100 percent faster abv rate but the bad news is it has low attack and if you really need that faster abv rate i think the type characters the type of characters that need faster LBV rate the most is support. And for most supports, they are able to equip Dagger. Dagger is much, much better because you can get rare ability with 150% faster LBV rate. So I don't think it's worth to chase this STMR, okay? Because like you have seen on my some of my previous video that even my Makina, I equip him with Dagger. Okay, so I don't see this sword is any good. Actually, I forgot to talk about Ardin STMR, but in my opinion, Ardin STMR is much, much better. Okay, it is very good. It is 
60% attack with 20% health without restricted to any weapon and it gives you all status ailments so you don't need to worry about that nasty confusion okay so Ardin, Trustmaster and STMR are good but for Regis only his Trustmaster reward which is good but that's simply my opinion now the final question should you summon in my opinion no guys sorry but Honestly, I must say that Ardin breaks are kinda lame. Yes, it is gradual, okay? I don't like the process of that happen. I prefer it is decaying like Makina. Because, like I said, if you need to dispel the enemy and need to reapply the buff, then you are out of luck. You will be locked with 75% breaks. I know it will be cast on every church, but what if you dispel the enemy right after the 74% breaks are casted. That's kinda dangerous, okay? The example is against Iron Giant. What happened if he cast that Iron Colossus and you need to break? I mean, you need to dispel that attack and magic breaks and yeah, like I just explained. His breaks are not that good. And yes, his offensive power is also I must say it is good, okay, like Godria, but it is not that top tier. It's not meta breaking. So I believe you already have powerful attacker, okay, Aldor King Rain. So I really don't see any reason for you to pull for Arden. Okay, unless you lack top tier attacker and you don't have top tier breaker at this point of the game. In that case, I can recommend you to pull for Arden. But let's say if you have Makina, Adventure Lock, Edgar, etc. Okay, basically anyone who able to spam 74% breaks on demand, then I don't see any need to pull for Ardin. For Regis, I have said this on his preview, okay? Unless you really need that 50% damage mitigation, I don't think you should pull for him. Sure, if you don't have buffer at this point of the game let's say you don't have you don't have Luna Freya you don't have Ignis you don't have Sylvie then it may be worth to pull for him but if you have top tier buffer I don't see any need okay basically if you need if you if you have 50% damage mitigation either from Sacred Street Charlotte Galuf or Lucas I don't recommend you to pull for Regis and yes on this event, you don't need to get that bonus points for the currencies. So really, there's no benefit for pulling these two characters. And like you can see that the step up is kind of expensive, okay? 25,000 and you still don't know which character you're gonna get, okay? But yeah, I'll leave that for you to decide. But for me, I will withdraw. Okay, especially after that Lucas 11 rainbow summons. I believe if you are free to play players like me, you need to save lots of lapis. Okay, so yep, I think that's all you need to know about this King Regis banner. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Perhaps VS Guide. Bye bye guys.